Hello everybody. I am just taking a little uh, a little excursion for my COVID isolation. Um, staying inside my little bubble traveling 75 miles an hour. Thought you guys might like to get an update on the progress. So the pedal. Um, the pedal when it's not plugged in to the to the Eon, or I should say to the giraffe, it's working fabulously. Um, in fact, as a result of some errors I was having previously, I, uh, I, I used a tool to come up with a better formula. Uh, mine wasn't quite accurate, so I wasn't actually getting zero to a hundred percent coming out. Um, so I, I had to adjust it. It wasn't just times 1.5, it was times 1.5 plus 25. Anyway, uh, that was the code that runs on the pedal itself. There's very little code on the pedal. It doesn't do much. So, I apologize. I gotta put the camera down when the, when the cops show up. Because, you know why. Anyhow, so I spent quite a bit of time uh, working on trying to copy the code from the Honda port uh, that involves the use of the pedal over to the GM port. This involved changes in the Panda as well as Open Pilot, um, and it involved a lot of headbanging and confusion. One of the most confusing parts is that the hang on the actuators.gas which i believe is where you're supposed to to get how much gas to be applied has a value between 0 and 1 i foolishly assumed oh that value is passed into the create gas command which creates the pedal command i assumed that that meant that the the shift and scale that you had to put into the DBC file, um, I, I assumed that that meant I was supposed to scale the values that are output uh, between 0 and 1. So I did that. Um, that was when I noticed that I wasn't getting all the way to 100%. Then finally I looked inside that method, the uh, create gas command, and found out that it was taking that value between 0 and 1 and multiplying it times 255. What that means is that it is expecting the values that are returned when translated through the DBC for both of those signals to range between 0 and 255. I don't believe this is documented anywhere. Uh, if it is, I didn't find it, and it would have saved me a lot of time. Anyway, I used this awesome website that did the uh, extrapolation and that, and, and, and uh, not extrapolation. Um, it it f automatically figured out what the necessary adjustment values were, the, the scale and the, and the shift. So um, those numbers actually ended up looking a lot closer. They're not exactly the same, but they're very close to the ones for Honda. So I'm actually guessing that, that Honda's underlying values must be fairly similar. Um, however, this Bolt one is rock solid uh, 0 to 100 for this car with this configuration. Um, that's great and all. And it, everything in theory should be working fine. I, I, I even have it. Check this out. I can turn off the cruise control, open pilot continues, stays running. If it were working, the pedal would take over, but it is not. Also I made it so I can, I can press the gas pedal, oh, <laughs> okay apparently I had that wrapped in a condition, uh, that's, that's good, that's good anyway. So, when it identifies the car as uh, having a pedal attached, 
when you push on the gas pedal, it does not disengage open pilot. Um, so, so the way that it will work once I get it working is you start the cruise control and then you cancel it immediately. And then the pedal will take over the cruise control for you. <coughs> so the problem I'm having though is uh, when the, the, when open pilot recognizes my car as having a pedal interceptor and it's running the code that I have that is based on the presence of a pedal interceptor, no CAN messages are sent on the bus. Uh, the, as far as I can tell, the Panda thinks that it's sending them. Um, like the safety code, at the end of the safety code, it's saying that it should have sent, but it, it's not sending. Nothing happens. The car slows to a halt and the steering wheel does not turn. I checked. It is trying to send steering wheel values, but they just aren't sent. However, if I unplug the pedal uh, from, from the um, giraffe and start up the car, let it recognize it as a car without an interceptor, I can then plug it in and, as you can see, the steering is working now. Um, the other odd thing is that when it identifies it as having a pedal attached, it does not appear to be capturing any CAN bus messages at all. Uh, when I go to view the drive in Cabana, I get, there's no data. It just, it's empty. So, I, hopefully we find out it's something simple, like there's some code that looks for that 200, or yeah, the 200 message and does something, or maybe I'm accidentally not setting the right safety model. I don't know. Like, it's acting like it's in no output mode, except it's not capturing any input either. So it's very strange the way it's acting. Um, if you want to help me out, uh, you can take a look at my code. Uh, it's it's um, GitHub slash Jason J. Schuler, and then look for the, there's an open pilot uh, repository and a panda repository. Uh, the branch that I'm working in is master dash pedal, not master underscore pedal. Um, and if you can see where I did something stupid and help me out, th that would be great. I'm going to keep working on it, obviously. I feel like I'm close. I feel like I'm super close. I also don't know why it's snowing when it's 44 degrees outside. That's... That's weird. Huh. Well, anyway, um, thank you again for all your support. Uh, thanks for, for watching. Um, thank you very much to my Patreon supporters. Uh, without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. Um, if you are not yet a supporter, but you are interested in self-driving Chevy Bolts or self-driving plenty of other GM cars that don't have radar, uh, but do have the lane keep assist, uh, then maybe consider subscribing. Uh, if you don't want to subscribe, you just want to help, help out, you can, um, you can send me a, a PayPal. I believe my PayPal ID is just JJ Schuler. Um, anyway, you know, money is tight. Things are, uh, Things are strange these days, what with the uh, the isolation and that. So I also understand that there's a lot of people who are are uh, having income problems as a result of this. So nevertheless, what I'm trying to say is I appreciate all your help. I appreciate you guys more than you know. Um, thanks for watching my video and have a great day.